Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on CO2 injection simulation in an aquifer using CMG software. All right, so now we are here. Previously, if you check the previous video, we populate the grid with properties, okay, under reservoir section. And then we also cover the component, okay, using wind probe. Okay, this is the wind probe. And now we will complete this rock and fluid section. Okay, so we are right here right now. So here, rock and fluid. If you click this one, we can have rock fluid options create and edit rock types, diagnostic plots, adsorption components. We will enter this one, create or edit rock types. All right, so this is the rock type table. We can have under the rock type, if you click this one, we can create new rock type, delete unused rock type, or import average rock type, okay? First, we will create new rock type. And under the new rock type, we can have rock type properties here. Under this tab, relative permeability tables, which is the main import, the most important thing right now under this window, and hysteresis modeling. All right, by default, we will enter the drainage relative permeability data. Okay. And here, CO2 injection in aquifer, we will have water oil, okay? Water oil and liquid gas, all right? So we will have two relative permeability data table. First one is water oil, and the next one is liquid gas table. All right, so we are currently under water oil table. And now we will uncheck this one. Previously, we checked include capillary pressure, drainage curve if using hysteresis, and include capillary pressure hysteresis imbibition curve. So we will untick this one. All right, so we just need to provide with water saturation, relative permeability for water, relative permeability for oil, and if you have any comment. All right, I've prepared my data. Basically, you can type in the data manually or you can also copy and paste from your spreadsheet. But right now, I will just type in my data. You can follow me. Okay. And then this one, 0 0.0022, 0 0.6769, and then 0 0.3778, 0 0.018, 0 0.4153. Okay. You can also copy the data from your spreadsheet and paste it here, but yeah. Anyway, I will just type in the data here. 0 0.6444, all right, and then 0 0.0123, 0 0.7, 0 0.4089, 0, 0 0.7333, 0 0.4855, and then still 0, 0 0.8222, and then 0 0.7709, 0, and then 0 0.9111, 0 0.95, and then lastly 0. Okay, you can also right click and insert row 
Okay, I will copy this one, paste it here. And for the 11th row, it will be one, 0 0.99990. Zero. All right, so this is our water oil relative permeability table. After that, we can click enter or apply. And we will have the relative permeability plot like this one. The red line is water relative permeability versus water saturation, whereas the blue line is the oil relative permeability versus water saturation. All right, so far so good. It's not that difficult. And the second one, we click again here, relative permeability table liquid gas table but be careful here it indicates liquid saturation 